Hey, good evening. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugardoa, with you for 10 races this evening. All 10 featured on both HPI and TVG. You will be playing into some very nice pools tonight. HPI, play of the day. Let's go to race number four. Number one, Cherry Pop. I did not figure her to be 9 to 5 on the morning line. I was uh, expecting a little bit better in odds. She's been well up under the double digits for odds in each of her last four outings. Those are four Ontario starts since coming in from the Maritimes. Uh, she showed three straight eighth place finishes going into last time out. Big improvement last time out to finish second. Gets that rail to work with tonight. Ready for her first Ontario victory. Number one, Cherry Pop, race four. HBI, play the day for HBI Bet and Western Fair District. The early pick three play. It's the TVG pick three play right up front. In the first race, key in on number seven, Be My Delight. She's got that outside post to overcome again, but she was such an easy winner at first asking in her debut. Uh, Three-year-old daughter, Better's Delight. Kevin McMaster condition, Anthony McDonald on board. She's looking good to go once again. Be My Delight to go two for two. The second race using a four, Princess Abby W. Ryan Holiday coming in today with 998 career driving wins. He's got a good shot at taking uh, the second race with the four, Princess Abby W. Another one to think about, the five, Sweet Anna Hanover. Either one of them get there, and the seven takes the opener. We're cashing because it's the all button race number three. Wide open there in the final leg of an early pick three. Early pick four starts in that third race. We're going to stick with that all button. Nothing really jumping off the page in race number three, in my mind. Uh, the fourth race, that's where we'll key on, on the one cherry pop again. I was thinking better than nine to five value. Uh, that's her uh, favorite status on the morning line. Natasha Day stays on for trainer Becky Geisel. A great shot there in race number four. I'll stick with that key play, cherry pop, to pick up her first Ontario victory. We're six deep in race five. We get over to race number six. Uh, it's the four, Salzbrook Flicka. Brett McDonald on board, or the seven, Bellas Oasis. Nick Stewart uh, stays on the drive. Don't uh, be afraid of that seven hole in there. She does show gate speed. She can be on or near the lead there. The seven, Bellas Oasis, the morning line favorite, race six. Late pick four, starting up in race number seven. It's the Justice Hall feature race. Going to use a one, two, and nine. The seven comes out. Number nine, Mighty Mouse, does move in and leaves from that post seven. And she's been uh, better there last time out, coming from well back. Eighth, in fact, to finish third. She's showing good form coming in. Don't be afraid to back nine, Mighty Mouse, in race seven. It's the one and five in race eight. Three deep in the ninth. And nothing jumps off the page in race number 10. It's the all button for me in there. You cash that uh, high five in the finale, you will get paid. Best of luck when uh, playing today. Comments or suggestions? Love to hear from you. Greg Blanchard, Greg Gangle, myself, any one of us. Send us your comments or suggestions. Give me a follow on Twitter tonight, at SugarDoe. We'll take a short break right now. We're coming back with a whole lot more. Hey, it's a seniors event at the top of the fair. We're glad you're with us today. HPIBet.com. Access, rewards, and more. Hey, we are back. Welcome back. You're watching Race Day at the Raceway. Tracking out to Shannon Sugar Doyle with you, setting up the action for this evening. Wagering menu for tonight. Low 15% take on some key plays, being the early pick three play right up front. It's the pick fours beginning in races three and seven. High fives. At the distance of a mile and a 16th, featured in races 6 and 10, free programs, selections, video replays, and more. It's all on our website at westernfairdistrict.com. We mentioned key plays. The go-to wagers are that pick three play right up front. It's been averaging about $5,000 in the pool. Uh, horse players really chasing after that early pick three here in London. Pick fours, as mentioned, $5,000 guaranteed pools. Races three and seven tonight. The high fives have been paying well. 
uh, 20 cent high fives has been uh, well up into the thousand and two thousand dollar range there there's been quite a few of them in recent weeks here a high fives races six and ten tonight again it's low 15 percent take on all of our go-to wagers it's so it's another edition of survivor tuesday at the raceway plus we've got a seniors day event at the top of the fair it's time now for me to maybe try to offer up a little more help with some key plays on today's card. So here we go. Survivor Tuesday key plays on my end. Uh, first race, number seven, B, My Delight. She looks to repeat, repeat there for trainer Kevin McMaster, the stable group, Anthony McDonald on board. She had that tough seven hole last time out. Uh, didn't matter. She went right to the lead and she went pretty much unchallenged throughout. I look for her to repeat race number one. The second race, the four Princess Abbey W. That one comes in for trainer Ken Gowan off of two straight victories here. She came in from Woodbine Mohawk Park in December and she's won quite easily her last two. Ryan Holiday gunning for his 1,000th career victory. He's sitting at 998 coming in uh, to today. He's got a great shot with the four in race number two. She'll try for three in a row. The Six, So Long Sugar in race number three. She's on a big roll right now. So too is trainer Jeff Williamson. Gets the services of driver Scott Ray tonight. So coming in hot, So Long Sugar, Jeff Williamson, Scott Ray, those three all teaming in on uh, So Long Sugar there in the third race. Again, they're all three of them, the Ray, Williamson, and the Mayor, So Long Sugar. They're all coming in hot today. Look for her in race number three. The fourth race, this one Cherry Pop sh showed such a big improvement last time out. She came in to last week, uh, New Year's Day, showing three straight eighth place finishes here in uh, uh, Ontario. I'm looking for her to pick up her first Ontario victory since coming in from the Maritimes in the fall. Becky Geisel training. Natasha Day driving in part for Team to the Moon in support of breast cancer awareness. I believe they've got a great shot with one Cherry Pop in race number four. The fifth race, I got Lady Orb pegged and uh, should be in the hunt this mare. Uh, fifth place finisher there last time out, but before that had four straight third place finishes. I'm thinking she's going to be in the hunt today. Young Austin Sori at 19 years of age, the winningest rookie driver of all time in Prince Edward Island. 32 victories, 2018, and Austin Sori makes his second Ontario start here tonight. He had a off the board finish last night for a trotter for trainer Patrick Shepard. He's on a pacer tonight. Austin Sori with the five. Lady Orb, race five. Race six, a key play for me. Number four, Salzbrook Flicka showing good form coming in. Uh, great check getter there. Salzbrook Flitta, Flicka, uh, Brett McDonald teaming. Mike Armstrong training. This one owned by Paul Trevs of Truro, Nova Scotia, has been racing at Rideau. Comes into London tonight. Salzbrook Flicka, one to think about race six. Seventh race, the Justice Hall feature. Number two, Salzbrook Coral is my top player in here. She was a little bit crooked, a little bit on one line coming down the stretch last time out. Maybe Patrick Shepard. Uh, maybe done some fine tuning with that mare in the last week or so. Rob Shepard, brother Rob, on board Salzburg Coral, wanted to be looking for in the seventh race. Alphabet Queen, I'm expecting more from that mare tonight. It's her third start back off a long layout, gets that rail to work with. The ninth race will go right back to a McNiven starter in the five, right away Shark. To me, she appears to be facing a bit easier. I think she fits well tonight. And in the 10th and final race, we're going right back to a hot trainer, Patrick Shepard, with the five. She's even hotter, though race 10 appears to be the toughest race to crack the code on today. If you can hit that high five play on a field of nine in the finale, you will get paid. All righty, that's the way I see uh, Survivor Tuesday shaping up here at the Raceway. We've got our annual awards banquet coming up on Saturday, February 23rd. I'm told the tickets will be available for purchase this coming Friday. They'll be $40 in advance. You can save on tickets by purchasing a table of eight for $280. Uh, and again, I've mentioned it a few times already, the tickets will not be available at the door. You've got to purchase them in advance to attend uh, the banquet, likely a full house again at the Carousel Room here at Western Fair District. It'll be cocktails, dinner, awards, and dancing to follow. It's always a great time. Get your ticket early. Again, tickets go on sale this coming Friday. Let's go back and do some recapping now of some pick three and pick four playing. 
It's a standout for me in race number one, a key play in seven. Be my delight. She'll look to double up, leaving from the outside post again. I think she can handle them in the opener. Second race, the four, Princess Abbey W, should put Ryan Holiday one win away from 1,000 career victories in the bike. Sweet Anna Hanover, another one to think about there in the second. It's the all button for me in the third. Nothing jumping off the page. The TVG pick three play is right up front. Early pick four starts up in that third race. Use the all button again and the one cherry pop. If she's as good as she was last time, showed lots of improvement in that second place finish. I think she's a key in tonight's fourth race. We're six deep in the fifth. Race six, winding up with either four, Salzburg Flicka or seven, Bellas Oasis. Both do show the early speed thinking they can stick around for a piece of it there in race six, the high five. Seventh race starts up a late pick four. And again, the nine, Mighty Mouse does move in. She'll leave from the outside post seven. Doesn't have a whole lot of early speed to work with, but the last time out was sitting eighth. Closed up really good to finish third. Showing good form coming in the nine, Mighty Mouse. Do not ignore her in race seven, opening leg of a late pick four. It's the one alphabet queen. Expecting more from that mare tonight from the rail in race eight. Solid queen already, uh, well, already uh, sitting on a win, I believe. She's always in the hunt. You look through her program lines, nothing but seconds, thirds, and fourths. Could be the queen exactor box in race eight. Alphabet queen in the rail, the five solid queen. We're three deep in the ninth. If we get to the tenth, we're cashing. It's the all button because nothing jumps off the page in there. Cameraman Trev standing by. What do you got for us, Trev? Race number three. He's going to chase after the six. So long, sugar. Cameraman, he, he knows who's hot here at the raceway. Uh, trainer Jeff Williamson, driver Scott Ray, and six. So long, sugar. Trying for three in a row. Coming in hot. So long, sugar. The cameraman's play of the day in race number three. It's another edition of Survivor Tuesday Today. Always free to play online or on track. Chance for you to win a $100 deposit to your HBI account. Closing boards. All you need is on our website, westernfairdistrict.com. You've got free programs, selections, and more. And again, it's all 10 races on HPI and TVG south of the border. You will be playing into some very nice pools tonight. Good luck. We're underway at 6.15 Eastern.